Because in a perfect scenario, when I say perfect, there's a lot of moving, moving parts, the buyer could come in with as little as $500. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Heather Bull with Bull Squared and Remax Bakken Realty, and I'm here today with Brandy. Hi, I'm Brandy Ledoux with Unify Home Lending, and we're located at 108 Main Street. Thanks for having us today, Brandy. Thanks for coming. So we're going to chat with Brandy today about home loan programs. So say I get a first-time home buyer, or actually just a buyer in general, mm -hmm. and I send them over to a lender, and we're in the process of getting pre-approved. So they reach out to you, Brandy. How's that process start? It generally starts with like a phone call or a text message of some sort, and at that time we direct them to our website, okay. which is www.myunify.com. Um, there they fill an application, you can fill out from your phone, um, a computer, and uh, once it comes in, we pull credit and okay. we evaluate the, their financial situation. Okay. Um, every um, client, no matter what, is different from the very one right next to them. Okay. Um, each application is unique. Uh, so then we determine from there which loan program that they will fit into. Okay, so while you say every client is unique with their credit, the same things that you need from them is basic, right? You know, bank, hit, um, job history, um, a little bit of, of all of that, right? Yes, so absolutely. So uh, on the application, they'll ask for two years residential history, okay. two years work history, um, obviously income um, and that sort of thing. Okay, and then, bank statements. Yep. Taxes. We'll ask for okay. two years worth of taxes, uh, two months worth of bank statements, okay. the last uh, two pay stubs, copy of their ID, okay. things like that. So nothing too intrusive. No, not Just at all. get you started and figure out where you're at. And then once you guys go through that loan process and you figure out, okay, here's their credit, this is what it looks like, then you guys determine what loan program is the best for them. Okay? Yeah, correct. So once they come in, um, we do all loan programs here as well. Um, we have USDA. VA, conventional, FHA, and we also have North Dakota Housing on board okay. as well. So there are some instances where clients might um, qualify for multiple programs. And at that time, we just go through like, you know, um, their assets, you know, their reserves, which is a fun name for like um, your savings, that sort okay. of thing. And um, of course, their credit history, um, their debt uh, to net ratio. So okay. a so lot of things come into play. And then at that time, we would just discuss which way they want to figure out. So once you guys get to the point of, hey, this is what I want for my monthly payment, this is what I'm pre-approved for, this is how much cash I want to put down on a home, you guys have discussed where you're at, then that's really what determines where you're going to be with what type. So right. today we're going to chat a little bit about FHA home loans as well as North Dakota Roots, um, which is NDHFA. Yep. Um, so why don't you touch base a little bit on that? So um, FHA, uh, when I started in the business six years ago, it was the most common program that we used. Okay. Um, they're a little more lenient on debt ratios mm -hmm. um, and that sort of thing, and, and also credit score. So your credit doesn't have to be in the 700s or the 800s mm -hmm. for the FHA program. That's good to know. Yeah. So um, over the course of the six years, it's kind of fluctuated when more, more people are starting to qualify for both, because if you qualify for FHA, you would qualify for conventional. Okay. Um, so, but FHA is a uh, lower down payment at three and a half percent down as opposed to five percent. It's pretty appealing. Yeah, very okay. nice. Um, and you know, it's it, they have it's a government backed loan, so that you know, there's several different things go into to okay. that too as, as advantages as well. Okay. So being that it's government backed, so you can still do the three point five percent, so you're not mm -hmm. all the way from the five to twenty percent that's needed on conventional, but you can still keep that monthly payment as a, at a reasonable yeah. um, price point. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so it is It is one of the more popular programs, I would say, out there. When people are given the choice, you know, sometimes they will select that for the money down reasons and um, other things as well. So. Okay. And then the North Dakota Roots. So um, also, I know it's North Dakota Roots, North Dakota Roots Start, and then NDHFA, but they're all kind of under the same umbrella, correct? Yep. So they have like three different programs, actually. It's uh, Roots, it's the Start, and then it's the Home, North Dakota Home. So it's all okay. under North Dakota Housing. Okay. Um, that is kind of a, uh, I would want to say like a first time home buyers program just okay. because in a perfect scenario, when I say perfect, there's a lot of moving, moving parts. The buyer could come in with as little as $500. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty fantastic. So you take a look at everything that got going on. If they qualify for that, mm -hmm. you guys can move forward. What's the advantage of somebody choosing North Dakota Roots or a first time home buyer program over any of the others? Um, most of the time it comes down to if people are limited to um, cash to close. So okay. that would be why, or, um, you know, they, uh, 
sometimes an interest rate can be better on that mm -hmm. program as well. Can you explain a little bit of what the, on top of the advantage of the um, better interest rate and whatnot, is there anything else that a first time home buyer might be, uh, um, might be appealing on, a, on this program? On um, housing, um, most of the time it is just the money down because they don't have to, like, you know, if people have ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 saved up but they want to save some for a rainy day or mm -hmm. something that might come up, you know, when they're just, you know, really hesitant to put that money forth into a home, home purchase, that would okay. be... Maybe they got to buy a washer and dryer or something like that, right? Oh yeah, a new couch or... Okay. So the way I'm understanding it is under North Dakota Roots, if they get it pre-approved, their credit score is okay, their debt to income um, ratio is okay, they're a perfect candidate for this program, they can go into a house with as little as 500 down? In a perfect scenario. Okay. So yeah, absolutely. Okay. That is, it cool. is, you know, if, if all the moving parts and everything lined up with the stars, um, it, that, that is absolutely an option. That's super exciting. For some people. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you would like to share with our viewers today that might help them get in touch with you? Um, and, you know, maybe they're super excited. They want to get this home process going, but they're just unsure of, of where to begin. Absolutely. So you can give us a phone uh, call at 701-695-1078. That's um, to our local office here. Here in Williston, it's it's myself and Krishna Carey. We're both um, loan officers in directly in Williston. Okay. Um, we have we are home based out of Rapid City. We also have an office in Wofford City. Um, so you can find us on the web, as I mentioned earlier. You can also find us on Facebook, which is Unify Home Lending okay. dash Williston, North Dakota. Or you can um, just Google and Okay. And your lovely face will show up on that Google search. I yes. love it. Um, awesome. And if you have any questions for Ryan and I, um, feel free to give us a call at 701-713-0908. You can find us at bullsquared.com and also on Facebook too. We appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos and thank you, Brandy, for joining us today. Uh, we love to put information out there. So if there's anything you guys are looking for, or would like more tidbit on, feel free to give that a, a holler to us too. So thank you guys. You have a good day.